Hello world, uh, this is Carl Scott uh, coming to you guys. Uh, my first installment, my first video I'm recording on my blog, uh, my road to recovery uh, after my I've, my injury. I've uh, ruptured my Achilles tendon and I just started a blog just to kind of uh, basically do what it says, uh, enlighten, inspire, and inform. Uh, basically just want to get reach out to you guys out there uh, and just kind of enlighten you guys, inform you guys, and hopefully uh, try to inspire you guys uh, on this blog that, uh, that I'm starting. Uh, basically, like I said, I ruptured my Achilles tendon uh, last Wednesday, July 13th, uh, while playing basketball. Uh, I wish to tell you guys that I, I, while playing basketball, I was trying to be LeBron James, uh, Dwayne Wade, or somebody to that nature, uh, but that's completely false. Uh, Basically, to be quite honest with you, uh, be quite frank, it was a freak accident. Uh, happened to me while I was uh, I was going up for a layup. Uh, came down, didn't step on anybody, didn't slip, didn't do anything, but turned to run and collapsed on the floor. Uh, in which I thought somebody had accidentally tripped me, or, or tripped me to that matter. Uh, actually, remember saying as I was on my stomach uh, on the ground, you know, uh, what's up with that? You know, you know, what, what was that? And uh, as I look back uh, behind me, there was nobody behind me. Um, as, I, as I looked around, there were people surrounding me, kind of looking at me as to say, you know, what's wrong with you? And at that point, you know, I remember hearing a pop. Uh, since I've never heard a pop before uh, in my body, I didn't know what it was. But at that moment, it, kinda, it was kind of all surreal, but it happened so quick. Uh, I'm a coach. Uh, that's what I do for a living. And I guess being around... Uh, sports and injuries you, you kind of realize stuff but you know I think it kind of clicked this sounds crazy but uh, Shaq uh, had the same injury and I remember him explaining it as the same way somebody kicking him uh, he felt like somebody kicked him uh, and looked back and nobody was behind him uh, and that at that point that's when I realized it was me I heard a pop in my body that pop was me uh, and at what point I, I got on my butt got on my behind and uh, pulled myself up and checked my ankle uh, check my Achilles and in, in which I had a gap in my Achilles uh, from there uh, the guys helped me up off the court uh, sat down kind of gathered my thoughts uh, and then decided it was probably best for me to go to the emergency room uh, but before I did that I contacted our trainer uh, our trainer kind of uh, uh, asked me what was I doing I was actually driving at the time I left the gym on my own power uh, got in the car, drove, he asked me uh, could I uh, plantar flex my foot, uh, which that means is if this is my foot, uh, pushing on the pedal, uh, I asked him to push on the gas, and I could, uh, then he kind of you know, didn't know if I ruptured it uh, because of that, but you know, uh, I still want to see him, he, well he wanted to see me, uh, we met at the, the training room, I got the car, uh, walked up the steps, uh, walked to the training room and, and he, I, he even said to me if you're doing all that I don't know if it's uh, you know quite as serious as we might think but then he did the Thompson test on me uh, and what the Thompson test is is the test of your Achilles tendon uh, what they do uh, they squeeze your, your, your calf and you know you're supposed to have a response in your ankle uh, in which I know my good one I did uh, and then he went to my my, uh, my right one uh, and obviously it was nothing there. I had no response. Uh, it was mushy and gooey. And at that point, uh, he kind of gave the, the dreaded O. Oh, you know, and, and I knew something was wrong. And he, he advised me I needed to see the doctor. It was it was most likely a rupture, but he wanted the doctor to tell me that. Uh, went to the doctor. Uh, you know, she tested it. And didn't need an MR or anything like that. She, she notified me that it was ruptured. Uh, and just to kind of let you know what the Achilles is, uh, because I was surprised how many people don't know what the Achilles is or how you know insignificant they think it is. Uh, but it's a major part of your body. Uh, it's the largest tendon in your body. Uh, it's the strongest tendon in your body. Uh, basically what it is, to show you guys, uh, the Achilles, it, it, it's this little rope feeling thing right here. Uh, and actually, people just think it's that small, but actually it connects your calf uh, to your heel. Uh, it controls your foot to go up and down. Uh, toe raises any explosive motion that you have uh, your Achilles uh, controls that and that's what I, I ruptured and if you feel it on my other foot it's kind of 
mushy, it's not there, it's non-existent back here. Also, yeah, it's a pretty significant injury. Uh, what they say, obviously, yeah, this is my first time going through it, hopefully my last. Uh, but yeah, that, that's, your, that's your Achilles. Uh, and obviously, just to kind of show you guys what they have me in now, uh, they have me in a walking boot. Like I said, I, I injured it six days ago, uh, July 13th. Uh, they have me in a walking boot, which is, uh, they have it set at 10 degrees uh, to kind of set my foot that way. Um, you know, it, it deflates, inflates here, and kind of keeps me, keep, keeps my ankle stable until surgery. Um, and, you know, to continue where I left off, excuse me, I went to the doctor, and uh, she basically told me I had two options, uh, non-operative and operative. Uh, there's pros and cons to both sides. Uh, with the operative side, obviously there's 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 the the risk of infection just because of you know where obviously a surgery is an open wound, uh, but because where it is on your body, uh, there's less there's, there's not a lot of skin there. There's less blood flow that travels down there, uh, so the risk of infection is obviously greater than you know not having surgery, non-operative. Uh, but with the non-operative side of it, uh, there's a, there's more of a risk of a re rupture and uh, in which I elected uh, to go with the, the operative just because you know uh, you're leaving it basically I felt like you're leaving it up to your body uh, to heal itself and you don't know how it's going to heal and uh, you don't know until it heals and then you know even if it doesn't heal itself then you're going back to square one and having a, a surgically repaired uh, Achilles tendon whereas I can just go in there well the doctor can go in there and fix it now and I know it's fixed and uh, you know, go back to, I know where it's fixed and getting back to where I need to be. Uh, I'm an active guy. I uh, enjoy sports. I enjoy, you know, getting out there and, and staying active. Uh, so, therefore, I felt like the best decision for me personally uh, was to have the operative. Uh, and, again, I've done tons of research, uh, tons of uh, viewing YouTube clips, uh, you know, reading articles and all that different stuff. And I felt the best thing for me uh, was, was having surgery. Uh, they say, depending on, you know, everybody's body's different. That's the most important thing I'm trying to realize. Everybody's body's different. But they say uh, rehab and rehabilitation uh, takes up to six to eight months. Uh, I'm ready for it. I'm actually looking forward to it. Uh, I'm having surgery actually tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, the 20th uh, of July. I'm having surgery. Uh, and I'm looking forward to, to, to starting this process, attacking this process head on and uh, getting after it. Uh, you know, uh, the, probably two days after uh, I injured myself, uh, kind of was the was the, the frustration, the why me's. Uh, but then, you know, shortly realized that you know that won't get me nowhere. Uh, can't cry with spoiled milk. Spoiled milk. Uh, have to get you know get to it. You know what I mean? And, and start the rehab process, and I'm looking forward to it. I know it's going to be uh, kind of a, a longer process, but I, I'm, I'm ready for the task. I'm up for the task. Uh, I know I can do it. I know I can uh, to get back to where I need to be. I know I'll get back 100%, uh, and I'll be stronger than ever. Uh, you know, uh, you know, Achilles injuries uh, is, it, it, you know, maybe not as common as people think, but it, it does happen. Uh, there's there's people that that you know that we're familiar with, uh, famous people uh, that that name recognition will. will you know, you'll recognize, and also there's a tons of other people like myself that you might not recognize, uh, or the average person might not recognize. Uh, but famous people that had this injury, you know, you have uh, Dan Marino, you have uh, 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 David Beckham, the famous soccer player, uh, Takeo Spikes, uh, you know, linebacker in the NFL. Most importantly, D'Amico Ryan. I'm a huge Houston Texans fan, so that that kind of resonates in my brain. Uh, D'Amico Ryan, who did this last year. So there's 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 people who've done it before, and it's, it showed that you know I'm not saying I'm a professional athlete by no means, but the reason I bring that up because people have done it and people have came back from it, and that's what I plan to do. I come back. I plan to come back stronger than ever, uh, better than ever. Uh, you know, and, 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 and you know it's not impossible. You know, it's it's, it's going to be a task, but you know. Uh, I was once told, you know, tough people don't last, you know, uh, 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 well, you know, uh, tough times don't last, tough people do. And uh, I'm really looking forward to, to starting this process and, and getting started on my way back, on my road back to recovery. Uh, like I said, uh, the reason for this blog, I want to make light of the situation any way I can, make good of it. Uh, I want to enlighten people on this injury, you know, a lot of, not a lot of people know about it. Uh, and I also want to, uh, you know, get some info on this injury. Uh, you know, and, and 
you know, for my son, there's somebody out there right now that's going through the same thing or been through it or, you know, hopefully, I don't, I, mean, I don't wish this on my worst enemy, but, you know, they will go through it and hopefully this they can use to benefit uh, from this video or from this blog that I'm starting. And last but not least, I want to inspire. Uh, not just you know with the Achilles injury, you might have something that you're going through in your life that you you, you don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, and I'm just want to be that you know if I can inspire one person from this, you know I think I've done my goal. Uh, but I just want to you know give give people an encouragement, uh, give people a kind of a, a light at the end of the tunnel to let them know that it is possible. No matter what you're going through, uh, there, there there is a way out if you just you know just hard work and determination. You know I mean that's the solution to a lot of things. Uh, and I know there's a lot of other people out there right now in this world uh, that are going through a lot worse than me, just a measly old Achilles injury, so that's why I'm not feeling sorry for myself. Uh, you know, God doesn't put anything on us that we can't handle, and I truly believe that, and I know this is just a, a roadblock in my road to what I'm, I'm getting to. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to let anything defeat me. I'm going to get after it. Uh, like I said, I'm having surgery tomorrow. Uh, I want to thank all you guys uh, for everybody who's reached out to me, whether it's been texts, phone calls, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, you know, anything, uh, everybody, all the prayers, the well wishes, uh, well wishes uh, I want to say thank you for that, uh, it really means a lot, really means a ton to me, uh, it never goes unseen, even even the, the other stuff, you know, the, the jokes and all that kind of different things, uh, you know, maybe the, the silly stuff, all that kind of stuff, uh, maybe two days after it happened, I wouldn't have took it the same way, but like I said, I'm, I'm kind of over that now, my mind's in a different place now, and I'm just, you know, positive, thinking forward, and thinking to the future, and I just want to say thank you for everybody who's reached out for me, your prayers, your well wishes, everything that, that, that you know, you, you guys done, to just even people who haven't reached out to me, people, but I know, you know, people have thought about me, and maybe not have reached out to me, I want to say thank you to that too, it means a lot, that's what keeps me going, uh, keeps me inspired, uh, so again, uh, I'm having surgery tomorrow, uh, I'm ready to go out there uh, and get it done. Uh, my hands are in the, my, my surgery is in the hand of God, and my God will speak to that surgeon, and I'll come out of there uh, on the other end of it pretty good. Uh, I'm starting this block again. Uh, you guys feel free to follow me on Twitter uh, at Mr. K Scott. Uh, that's at Mr. K Scott. Also, can find me on Facebook at Carl Scott. Uh, you know, and, and, and in my blog, uh, which I will be directing through this. I hope you guys uh, spread the word, uh, pass it on. Uh, uh, this blog is for, for me uh, to kind of make light of the situation, like I said, but also for, you know, people out there who, uh, who are going through the same thing or going through something. I want to enlighten, inspire, and inform. Uh, so, you know, my road to recovery will be documented through these, hopefully to get you different, you know, clips of me throughout my stage of, of uh, rehab and recovery. Uh, and, and I'm looking forward to it again. Uh, so thank you guys for all the prayers. I hope you don't stop. Uh, continue to pray for me. Continue to, to keep me in your prayers. Uh, but I'm not defeated by no means. Uh, I'll be back stronger than ever. I uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, Everything you guys have done so far, thus to this point, and will continue to do. Thanks in advance. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys after surgery tomorrow, and I'll be better than ever. I promise you that. So, uh, please tell your friends, tell your friends' friends, and tell everybody about the blog. Uh, thanks to, to, to everybody who, the, the, my fam, uh, my friends, my friends that I consider family. Uh, it take me all day to name everybody who's reached out to me, uh, but I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. I mean it, and uh, you know, this is not the last. Uh, you'll see, I'll be back. Uh, but until the next time, uh, I'll see you guys, and uh, God bless and take care. See you guys.